What's going on guys? OmniGamer here bringing you episode 23 of Let's Play The Legends of the Link the Past. Uh, last time we uh, got ourselves the Golden Gate Sword and entered Total Rock Dungeon. In uh, this next episode we are going to hopefully finish Total Rock Dungeon and progress to... Uh, we're actually going to finish Total Rock Dungeon, finish the rest of the Pieces of the Heart, and uh, get set and get on our way to uh, Ganon's Tower. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into some gameplay, shall we? Okay, so down these stairs we go kill these little Why do I have my boomerang out instead of my hookshot? I don't want no damn boomerang! However, I will take my hammer, because that just makes crushing pots that much easier. Now, there's a game, I think it's the uh, Game Boy Advance remake, where once you get, I think it's once you get the level 4 sword, you can use your sword to take pots out. And that's just cool. And these little pipe things are kind of cool too. You go and, you know, you just walk in and vroom. They're a little weird. I'm not really sure if, like, Link's running through all those deals. Or if he's being sucked through, like, or whatever it is. But I don't know. But here we have, uh, more of it. And these ones are actually over lava. And this is actually the first appearance of lava in the game. Despite us going on Death, Death Mountain and everything. And that room right there is the only room, actually, in the... Ugh. That room right there is actually the only room in the history of uh, A Link to the Past. Well, I say history, but in all of A Link to the Past Hyrule with um, lava in it, which is just weird. What's in here? What's in here? Nothing's in here. Nothing but a key to a room. And I don't want to be a bunny. I've been there once. I've done that. That was a bad time of my life. And look at the big chest there just taunting us. He thinks he's all cool with his big chestedness. So we got lasers firing at us. Ah, never mind. I won't break the pots. Lay a bomb and run! Ah! And this is a, another reason why I like this dungeon. It's a, You get a nice little breath of fresh air right there, which is really cool. Uh, I am going to use some life medicine because that is what I need. Because I'm about to die. But, uh, you know, you actually exit. I mean, as you can see, we're, you know, we're clearly back in the dark world. We saw this area from up there. However, this is uh, a, a nifty little area, too. For example, if we walk right here and we use our magic mirror, there's another cave right here. Now, if you look, we can't jump to this cave from up above. Oh, shit. That was a fail. But as you see, uh, as far as that cave goes, we can't jump to that cave from up above. And this is not an exit cave. This is clearly an entrance cave. So what we're going to do is we're going to head right in here. And we have a bunch of these mofos to kill. But you know what? I don't want to shoot arrows at them. So I'm just going to light them on fire. Bombo style! Oh wow, they didn't even phase them. Wow! Okay then. I guess it's silver arrow time. Wow, I thought that was going to work. I really did. Bastard mouse things. Oh well. But if you walk into here, there is the final piece of heart in the game. Piece of heart number, I think, 24 or 25. I lost count. But that is the final one. We can tell because there is one more crystal dungeon left. We have one more heart to uh, obtain. So that's our last one. So after this, we are once we complete this dungeon, we will not only have all seven crystals and all of the items in the game, we'll, well, not all the items in the game, but, um, yeah, the big freaking chest is taunting us. Shut up, big chest. Shut up. But, uh, we're gonna have all 20 hearts, and having 20 hearts is just fantastic. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back through here, and is it, I didn't, I thought it, this one was not the right way to go, unless I missed something. I think I did. I think this was the way you're supposed to go first. Yeah, this was the way you're supposed to go first. Oh well. I got myself a piece of heart, and that's all that matters to me. And which one of these guys? I'm be a bunny. I'm a bunny. I'm a bunny. I'm a bunny. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. And these skeletons take so long to kill. Well, they didn't take that long, actually. I remember it being a lot harder. Then that maybe before that maybe before I started getting the uh, gold sword before entering this dungeon, I don't really know. What I do know is I could have caught that fairy, and that would have been useful. Oh well. 
go right through here, and in the middle of the lava room, we find ourselves the big key, the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. Which is just fantastic. So I think we're going to do a little cheat here, and we're going to use our magic mirror. Now, because we went through that little uh, walkway, we're going to start right back here. Right in front of the big chest, and where we receive the mirror shield. And I love the mirror shield. Ah, uh, it makes me happy, because now what we can do is we can just... Ah! Uh, not get hit by the spike thing. Go right through the key door, and we're going to come right up here. And this will take us to the very top of the lava room. And I think these are... I don't even think we need to waste bombs on these, but we have 50 of them now, so... It's not even wasting bombs at this point. We're just trying to get rid of them all. Yeah, that's the way you gotta go, I believe. And I think that chest has the key that we need. Uh, but in here, I think there's something up there. So we're gonna push... You gotta do something first. You can hit the trooper first. No, you gotta clear all the enemies out. Then you can push the block. So where's... There we go. Now we can do that, which will let us pull that. That's the wrong one. Bombs ahoy! I did another uh, one of the one of the things I really like about a uh, Total Rock Dungeon is actually uh, it looks like a cave, and you know each dungeon has that like dungeony feel to it. But Total Rock is like it's Turtle Rock. I mean, it's a cave dungeon, and I just think that's really cool. And these things are fucking me up. So, I mean, the aesthetics of it are really nice. I mean, it's a lot different than what we've, what we've already faced. And, you know, at first... Ah, fucking A, dude. I mean, at first glance, it has that, like, appeal of, you know, this is a fucking dungeon. You know, especially with that warning. You know, if you don't have the medicine magic, you need to turn the fuck around right now, because you will die. Which, I can't believe the little wall crawlies got me, but oh well. And I wish I had the beam for this, because it would make it a lot easier. But... Oh, we have the magic boomerang. And the magic boomerang shines. Just like our new silver arrows, which I haven't showed you guys yet, so... Uh, well, I did show it to you guys, but I didn't, like, show it off, show it off. And this is one of those rooms in this dungeon that is going to kick my ass. Um, what you have to do is basically have to find a switch, hit the switch, and then make it back to the door. And wow, if I make it through this without getting hit, I'm going to be, like, stoked. No oh, shit, fuck, never mind. And I think it's one of those... Is it an open closer? Okay, it's not a. Uh, I thought it was a Sumerian block one. It was one of these of these platforms. Although a cool concept, really kind of get irritating because I mean, there's nothing you can do. I mean, that thing was coming towards you. You have to get hit. Okay, so we're gonna come right through here, and the door should be open. That's gonna be the door that the switch tripped. And this part's fun because you can just stand here and watch. <laughs> oh fuck! Hang on, I wasn't supposed to do that. Ha! <laughs> Nothing you can do! Which is weird, because the laser's actually penetrating the shield, but it's okay. And I like that. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> ah. So now we can get all these treasure chests, and I remember trying to get these chests without the mirror shield. This is almost impossible. Like, you're gonna get hit a lot, you're gonna lose a lot of life. And that just sucks. However, there is money in these chests. Ah! Uh, push you down the hole, because I hate you, you stupid red thing. And this right here, this is uh, a little bit useful. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bomb this. It actually leads to uh, another way outside. Uh, there isn't any really secret... Well, I don't think there's any secret with this way. Is there... No, there's no secret with this way. We've already, we've already been here before. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. However, what this basically does is, uh, it's basically another checkpoint. So, well, we haven't been in that room before, but there's nothing in there, really. I think there's, there's some treasure in there, but I'm not really all that worried about it. So. Uh, we're just gonna use that for kind of what it, what it is. If I die, I can just start right back there. But I'm gonna hopefully not die. This dying is just not going to be good. I've already died once. This I wanted this to be a perfect run. And I've already died once. And I'm not going to do it again. And I died once because of something stupid too. That pissed me off. 
Uh, but it's okay. I, I'll be able to make it through this. I'll be able to survive. Walk right up here. There's this little mofo right up there. I'm gonna kill you off because we don't like you. And I think we're almost near the end. Yeah, we are. This is uh, this is the area that leads to the boss. So what we're gonna do is, uh, yeah, we have enough for it. So we're going to use our medicine of life, and we have our full medicine of magic, which is fantastic. So we're gonna need it. Now, as you can see, we have a three-headed boss here, and this is one of my favorite bosses in the entire game, known as Trinex. So as you can see, Trinex is a three-headed creature. There is the stone head, a fire head, and an ice head. Now, most people go after the ice head first because it's easier to because it's easier to kill. But I'm gonna go after the fire head first because then we get an icy floor, which makes the game more difficult, which makes it more fun. So we're uh, basically all you gotta do is use the ice rod on the uh, fire head, vice versa. Wow, he's dead already! Wow, I was not expecting that. Ah, bastard. Alrighty. So the ice does make things a little bit more difficult, but like I said, I have fun with it. So. Wow, I can't believe how quick those things died. I don't remember them going that fast. But blow up the two heads, blow up Trinex's shell. And then comes the middle part of Trinex, the centipede part as he's called. I don't know why I call him the centipede. He doesn't look like a centipede. More like a rock snake, but all you gotta do is hit that glowing part in the middle. It's a little tricky, but it's not really all that hard. Just watch his, uh, watch his movements. Kind of like play El Toro. Three hits, and then boom, 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 boom. Trinex is no more. So as you can see, 20 hearts. And the final crystal of the game. Which is just absolutely fantastic. And there's Princess Zelda. I appreciate you coming so far to rescue me, as I thought you are the legendary hero. I have felt this from the first time we met. Ganon is waiting inside of his tower to pass through the gate linking the two worlds. Once Ganon enters the light world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Now, go to the Tower of Ganon. We will use our combined powers to break the barrier. Let's return peace to the country without fail. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. <sighs> Alrighty. So we have a full 20 hearts. We have our golden sword. We have our mirror shield. As you can see, a new target on the map has been placed. Ganon's Tower. So we're going to go and head right there. There's nothing else we need to do in this game. All we need to do is head there and take out the final boss. Ganon. Kind of fitting how he's in his own hometown, you know? These lion things. Fucking pain in the ass. And you know what? I'm feeling so badass that I'm not even going to go refill my life medicine. Yeah. All I need is the medicine of magic. I'll be okay. I got 20 farkin' hearts, motherfucker. Oh well. This is a really cool scene. Can you step up to it? Omni, we're gonna break the barrier of Ganon's tower with our power. So get all seven maidens together in their crystal forms. And the barrier behind Ganon's tower is broken. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut this right here for right now. In the next episode, we are going to attack and take down Ganon's Tower. So, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Or, uh, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, but once again, guys, I am the Omni Gamer, and thanks a lot for watching.